Hello, so yes, this is the same shirt I was wearing in my last video. Probably it might have something to do with the fact that I made that video two minutes ago. So anyway, I decided that I'm going to do a monthly book haul. I'm going to talk about all the books that I read that month and all the books that I bought or received that month because I like book hauls for some reason. I don't know. I just like him. So I'm going to start off with the books that I read this month. First book I read was The Scorched Trials. It didn't take me that long at all. It was pretty quick. Um, yeah, I reviewed it, you know, in my review of the Maze Runner series. Awesome, you know, uh, second book in the Maze Runner series. After that, I read The Son of Neptune, which took a little bit longer because it, it's pretty thick. Um, it's the second book in the Heroes of Olympus series, which is after the Percy Jackson the Olympian series. And I reviewed this as well. I'm probably going to review every book I read now. So I'm not going to like give a full review during the book haul. I'm just going to say what I thought of it. Then after The Son of Neptune, I read The Death Cure by James Dashner, which is the third and final book in the Maze Runner trilogy. I reviewed this along with all of the other books in the Maze Runner trilogy in my series review of the Maze Runner trilogy. Anyone want to count how many times I just said Maze Runner Trilogy? So those are the only books that I completed this month. Right now I'm currently reading two books at once. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. It's pretty good so far. I'll probably finish it up in the next week or so. And the new House of Night book, Destin. So those are the only books that I read this month. I'm working on, you know, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children and Destin. I read The Scorch Charles, The Son of Neptune, and The Death Cure. The reason I only read three probably is because The Son of Neptune is like 500 something pages, 513 actually. I usually read about four or five books a month. So yeah. So now I'm gonna go on to the books that I bought this month or received. I'm not really gonna say anything about them because you know, I haven't read them. This month I got about 12 books. Oops, I buy a lot more than I read. First book is Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green and David Levithan. I've heard so many great things about this, I just had to read it. Twisted and Speak by Laurie Hulse Anderson because they looked good and I'll probably read them soon because they're pretty quick, short reads. I got Shelter by Harlan Coben and I really like Harlan Coben's books, his adult books, and now I'm excited because he's writing teen books, so this should be really good. The Underdogs by Mike Lupica. Lupica. I don't know how you spell or say his name, not spell it. I didn't buy this book. This was given to me by my cousin Steve, who interviews authors and, you know, interviews authors, and he got this sign for me right here. Um, so that was pretty cool and nice and awesome, and I'll read this and review it pretty soon so I can send it to Steve and let him know what I thought of it, but it's pretty awesome because it's signed and I really don't have very many books that are signed. Of course, The Son of Neptune, I already talked about. The Death Cure, I already talked about. I got the ginormous Steve Jobs biography. I have like every freaking Apple product that there is. Destined, the ninth book in the House of Night series. I don't read it with the cover on though because that's just kind of awkward. And I got the Percy Jackson the Olympian series ultimate guide because I'm a nerd. And I was thinking about reading the Percy Jackson the Olympian series again since you know the Heroes of Olympus series is out now and I don't remember a lot of stuff from the Percy Jackson Lampin series because I read it when I was like in second slash third grade. On to Kindle books. This month I got High Society by Allie Carter and I am number four The Lost Files. Like it's number six's point of view and it's like a hundred to two hundred page story. It's like a short thing and it's only available as an ebook. So I'm looking forward to reading that, even though they pretty much told the story of that in The Power of Six. Obviously there's going to be more detail now. So yeah, High Society, I'm, I don't know, I'll probably read that sometime early next year. Why did I buy it now? I don't know. I just have so many 
books that I haven't read. So those are the only books that I got this month. I don't know why I'm saying the only books because there's a lot and I've only read two of them so far. So that's what I got this month. I've talked about what I read and what I got. Now I'm going to talk about upcoming reads. I'm reading Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs and Destined. After that, my next three books are going to be City of Bones, Beautiful Creatures, and Witch and Wizard. So yeah, this should be fun. So I will see you in a couple weeks with my review of Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Or Destined. You never know which one might come first. It will obviously tell you which one was better. So I'm going to go. Bye.